everybody. My name is Eva, and I work at a place called Mass LVP. Um, we are a democracy shop located in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And every four months, we run a program called the Gosby Fellowship uh, for people who are interested in learning more about our work in public engagement and in the world of policy. With me, I have Pei Tolfo, who is our 43rd Gosby Fellow, here to talk about his experience, what brought him to Mass, and what he has learned over his time here. Hey, tell us a bit about what brought you to Mass in the first place. Um, well, I, I'm currently getting my Master's in Urban Planning, and I was getting a little bit, I was a little, a little colored by how, how they were teaching me about what planning is and how it, it's been strictly kind of understood as land use planning. Mm -hmm. And I kind of discovered Mass kind of at that fortuitous moment when I was questioning whether, whether or not planning is the right thing for me mm -hmm. and your ethos surrounding it and um, the, pre the black box or the black deck presentation was very inspiring for me and I mm -hmm. just kind of happened to find it right at the time when you guys were taking applications again. And I'd heard about Mass before but never like being from BC I hadn't really considered it somewhere where I might end up. So just kind of a lucky coincidence that it, I was applying right at the right time and yeah, I'm here. Amazing. And so you were a fellow over the summer of 2018. Uh, can you share with us maybe a highlight or two of your time here, maybe a project that you worked on or something that you found interesting or unique during your experience? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think part of being a mass fellow means that you're, or a gossip fellow means that you're working on so many different projects and all of them are so interesting. Um, sometimes you're kind of in the weeds of it, so you don't get to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. But I was pretty pretty lucky to kind of see a full project through, which is not something that often as well as I think get to do. And I worked with um, uh, the YMCA and Sidewalk Toronto on putting through a camp. And with yourself, we developed mm -hmm. the program and I was very involved in delivering that program and getting the kids to think about cities and urban planning and how communities change, what makes a neighborhood. And then we got to kind of put a report together mm -hmm. and it was cool to kind of see all the stages and try my hand in a very safe space because no one else here was really managing it mm -hmm. at kind of taking the mass method and using, using it in like a kind of a children focused way. Yeah, yeah, and um, so you you, t you told us a bit about sort of the life cycle of the camp, but um, maybe walk us through a bit about like what it looked like on the ground because like you said, you're the person that executed it. Um, well, it was a week long camp and every day we, we did kind of developed a different theme. Mm -hmm. So, um, some of them were about uh, like green cities and we went to Evergreen Brickworks and the kids all took their transit and they went up to Evergreen Brickworks yeah. and they learned about um, how the spaces evolved over time and how that space is connected to Toronto more broadly. Mm -hmm. And then we brought them a little bit further down the valley and we went to see what a new city would look like down at Corktown Commons. And we, what we were really doing is trying to think about how, how each part of a city is involves prioritizing certain things and deprioritizing other things, mm -hmm. and it's always a mixture of uses, a mixture of people, and how certain, every decision you make affects who's going to call that place home. So, and then we were all, always trying to get it, them to not think about just what they were seeing, but what they wanted to see more of. And then we brought them down at the end of the week after a couple other trips, and we made our own neighborhood down at the waterfront. Cool. Very cool. And um, so you. I'd be curious to know what skills will you be taking away from your time at Mass? Um, I think, I think I, I, I've definitely developed as a writer, um, which is a skill that I think despite most of academia being surrounded by writing, um, it's often not really understood how much of it you actually have to do yeah. when you get out <laughs> of academia. Yep. Um, and how, how different, how many different types of writing there are. So, mm -hmm. um, I've definitely become a more practiced writer in the months that I've been here. Um, also just the kind of, I've, I've always been a perfectionist for myself, but I've never really thought about it the way mass does in that there's when you're, when you're bringing people together, yeah. <laughs> when you bring people together, uh, there's, there's always going to be a clash of opinion um, and people are going to be looking for the flaws. They're going to be looking for something to complain about. Okay. That's just the natural human thing to do. Yeah. So being like making sure everything is as, as well put together as it can be and being deliberate about your slide deck, being deliberate about those things that I often thought of, an, of as an afterthought, like the content was strong, 
that was important and everything else is kind of, you kind of have to do it all together. Otherwise that those are the things that people pick apart. If they don't understand the content, they're naturally going to pick apart the presentation. And yeah. so like those are all important bits. So I kept kind of thinking more holistically about the work that I'm going to do. I think it's probably going to be the best. Cool. We're in an alleyway right now. Because that's where our office is. This mass. is the mass office. Um, that's interesting, too, because I think that is a lot of the work that the fellows do is helping with the minutia. Yeah. And understanding the value of it, mm-hmm. I find, for me, always makes the work a lot easier if I'm, you know, setting a table a certain way, you yeah. know, putting a certain color of pen in a bowl. Yeah. It, I, I, if I can understand the purpose and the value of that, yeah. it makes doing the activity a lot easier for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Cool. And so my last question for you is, what comes next? You're, you've left Mass. We miss you. Uh, so what, what is happening in the next chapter of your life? I will be returning to Waterloo to finish off my Master's. Mm-hmm. Only there for four months, thankfully, because I <laughs> live in a box. <laughs> um, but I will be finishing up my Master's, and that involves writing a thesis for most of the next cool. year. So I will probably be knocking on your door to use your office space. Please do. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, thank you for taking the time to chat about your experience in the fellowship with us. Um, if you do have any other questions about the fellowship, you can always get in touch with us at hello at masslvp.com. And hopefully we'll see your application soon. Bye. I know.